Hello Unity devs. Today, we are going to be looking at implementing multiplayer for Unity's karting microgame for the third time. This is the third time that Unity and the Mirror Framework have made changes that have broken my little tutorial, which is why I'm redoing it again. Since my last video, there are two aspects that have changed. The first is that it's no longer possible to pick the latest Unity build while picking the karting microgame template. The second issue is related to a change in the Mirror Framework where the client authority is obsolete, so we need to address that too. Now that we've got that intro out of the way, let's dive right into it. So here we are in the new Unity Hub. We're going to create a new project. So just click on the Projects button, click New Project, and we're going to make sure that we pick the latest LTS that's available, and that'll allow us to pick the Karting Micro Game. Now we're just going to give this a name. So I'll go back to my Projects folder, call it New Karting, and we'll click Create Project. Now that we've created our new project, I'm just going to close this window here. Then I'm going to close out this tutorials tab on the side here. Now what we want to do is we want to import the mirror framework. So I'm going to right click on packages. I'm going to go view and package manager. I need to change this to my assets. Then I just need to search for mirror in the top right here. When that gets found, we just want to, firstly, you'd want to download it, but I've already got it downloaded, so it says re-download, and we're just going to import that. Just click import. Okay, great. We're going to close this window, and we're just going to check. It looks like the mirror assets in there, which is exactly what we need. Now, we're just going to get into it. We're going to open up our tree. We're going to create a new empty game object called Network Manager. We're going to add the component, so it's called Network Manager. We're going to add a Network Manager HUD. And then under Network Manager, you'll see that now that uh, the transport is broken up into its own component, we need to also add that. So we'll search for transport and we'll add this KCP transport and we'll drag and drop that in here. And that's a new thing as part of the new mirror framework. So we just need to do that from now on. The next thing we need to do is we need to add the mirror framework to the assembly definition file. So if we search for cart, is it cart game? Yep. So we just got to find the one that just says cart game on it down here. And when we find it, we're going to add the mirror framework here. And then we just need to click out of that and that'll allow us to apply it. The next thing we want to do is we want to make our player a prefab. So we're going to find it in the tree and it's cart classic player. We're going to create a new folder in here just to make it easier for us. So I'm going to call it prefabs. And in that folder, we're going to drag down this cart classic player and we're going to make it a variant. And now in here, this is us editing the prefab. We're going to add the, uh, the network transform to it. And in my previous tutorial, you would have seen that I would have clicked client authority, but this part has changed and so we don't want to do that anymore and if you hover over it it tells us we want to set to true if moves come from owner client set to false if moves always come from the server so we're going to go down and make sure that it's setting it from client to server and that's it that's all done now what we want to do is we want to edit the input script so we're going to right click on keyboard input and go edit script. Now that we're in the script, what we want to do is we want to go to the definition of the base input. So we'd hold control and click on it on Windows. If you're on a Mac, you would click on it and then press F12. So I'm just going to control click on this. And then what we want to do is we want to implement mirror. So at the top, we're going to type in using mirror. 
And then down here, we're going to change this to network behavior. And then we're going to save that. Now we don't need to be in here anymore. We just want to deal with keyboard input. Now I'm not going to go through rewriting this script again. So I'm just going to go back to my old YouTube tutorial. This is the 2021 version of the tutorial. So you just have to go and copy all of this. Control C, we'll go back to Visual Studio. We're just going to paste it over the whole thing and then save it. So that should be all done. Now we're going to go back into our editor after saving it. And what we want to do is we want to delete the Cart Classic player from the scene that's already in there. We want to go to our Network Manager and then we're going to add this Cart Classic Prefab that we created before and drop it under Player Prefab. There's also a neat little issue that seems to have been introduced with the new version of Mirror. So what we've got to do is we've got to click on this little uh, prefab that we've got. It seems to duplicate the network identity. I think that happens when, uh, when we edit the script. So we're just going to remove one of them because we can't have two or it's not going to work. And now we should be able to test it. And that's working fine. So now we're just going to make sure it works with multiplayer. So we're going to go to File, Build Settings. Now you need to make sure that for this test, we want to remove everything else except for the main scene, which is loaded currently. And then we should be able to build and run. I'm going to make a new folder called Compiled, or it's going to make a bit of a mess. We'll select that and save it. And that looks like it's working exactly how I expected. So now we just need to fix up the camera. So to fix up the camera, we're going to go back to our prefab that we created. I'm going to make a new script and call it cam follow. And then we're just going to edit that. By clicking right click and going edit script. And we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to use the mirror framework and change this to network behavior. And we're going to make it so when uh, this script starts, so we'll go if this dot is local player, then we want to get the, the camera. So what we actually need to do that we haven't done yet is we need to tag this cinema machine virtual camera. We're going to tag it with main camera, uh, which is fine because the actual main camera is untagged. So I'll just save that. Go back to Visual Studio. So we'll go, if this is the local player, then game object dot find game object with tag. So now we can find that game object based on the tag of main camera. And we want to get the component of it, which is the cinema machine uh, dot virtual cinema machine virtual camera. And we want to tell it to follow this game objects transform. Now we also want to set the 
um, the look at value as well. So we'll save that and I'll show you what that's going to change. So that's when the script starts and the player spawns, it's going to find this game object and it's going to go and set this property, the follow property and the look at property to the active player. So now that we've done that, we're going to test the whole thing. So we'll do a build and run. And that worked really well. I'm not sure why there was a lot of tire screeching, but that seems to have done the trick. So yeah, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks. Bye.